Between victimhood and agency, the abject appears as an intermediary but also mediating category, inhabiting liminal spaces where a terminal site of nothingness has as its verso something more indeterminate and transitional. Having attempted to leave East Germany only to face constant surveillance, Barbara is forced to think and act as if every member of the public represented the GDR, constantly dissecting her every action, word and gesture. The entire film is pervaded by persistent disease and distrust, and distinctions between state control, voyeurism and romance are all blurred. This scene places us somewhere between Barbara's view and that of imagined pedestrians, after seeing through her eyes, we see her from behind and from a few rows in front, but these seats are shown to be empty. While we might assume that POV shots often intend to invite identification with the victim, this alternation of perspective arguably critiques the possibility of cinematic empathy. We, as film viewers and critics, are also analysing her every movement to get inside her head and work out what she is thinking. Though we give an insight into her isolation, we are also denied full access both to her history and her intentions. We see what seems to be an important message included in the package, though we are not presented with the translation, and she nevertheless seems to avoid showing any emotional response. I think the ambiguity of this package is intentional, as the motion likely makes it hard to read even for those who do understand German. Hence, like Rembrandt's corpse, the camera works to identify us with someone who is denied subjectivity. Barbara has found herself suspended between her will to self-determination and the dissociative violence of having become a threat to authorities. She is, to use Elsaeus's words, an abject body inhabiting a liminal space. However, it is precisely through repressing her own subjectivity that she is able to retain the money as she works out how to escape. Facing censorship and punishment, Barbara is forced to discard of anything that connects her to her past, but in so doing she has become a transitional figure through whom and with whom the film attempts to subvert the control and understanding of those who deny her agency.